Hola, soy yo, Vicky, otra vez. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, espero. Ok, so hoy estamos en nivel 3 uh, de Break the Language Barrier Level 3. Uh, y es, uh, first thing I want to say, as always, when I'm now that I, I'm doing these videos that are connected with the book, into level three and I will be going into level four. Congratulations just for getting to this point because it's not easy learning Spanish and if you've come this far and you're still um, trying, <laughs> you know, you're continuing wanting to learn more than you've done really, really well. And, you know, let me know. I like to do podcasts with some of my students. You know, uh, there is a playlist of the podcast where I've interviewed students who've done uh, courses with me and they've got to a point, you know, where they're... I mean, fluent's a funny word, isn't it? You can say fluent in Spanish, what does that mean? To me, it just means you can get by in any situation. You might not be perfect. You won't know everything, but... You know, nothing phases you. You can uh, take the Spanish you've got, and if you don't know the exact way to say it, you can say around it. That to me is fluent. So, uh, and I have a lot of students who have got to that point, and really perseverance is the key. Perseverance, repetition, getting out there and practicing it, not being scared of making mistakes. So, if you're watching this and you are progressing through the level three book, well done. If you're watching this and you've just found this video on YouTube and you're thinking, what's she talking about? Uh, basically, I have three levels. Uh, so de uh, depending on how much Spanish you know already, we'll decide whether this video is suitable for you. To do this video, it's, it's a mixture of tenses. It's got a lot of past present, future. It's probably got a bit of everything in it. And so it's not recommended for a beginner. Now, having said that, if you know some Spanish, you can use it as a listening exercise. You don't need the book to enjoy it, but there are links in the description box that will tell you how to order the book should you want to order the book. If you're a beginner, you can order level one. If uh, you're a beginner with a base, level two would be for you. Uh, as long as you've got a good base, if you, you know, if you're ready for past tenses. And level three is really for quite advanced students and level four is for very advanced students. If you're wondering what level you are, drop me a line and uh, drop me a message, a comment. I will do my best to tell you, uh, you know, I'll ask you what you've done. I'll be able to tell you where's the right place for you to start. Okay, so this is a translation that you had to do. Now, it's in Spanish. Um... Now, I'm not going to read out the English, I'm only going to read out the Spanish. So basically, the purpose of these videos that go with the books are uh, not for the answers, because really, because the answers are in the back anyway. The purpose of these videos is for the pronunciation. So it's always it's so useful to read aloud to yourself. You know, you might think, oh, I've got nobody there to correct my pronunciation. Well, you can listen to the pronunciation on here and check it. But also, in a way, it doesn't matter because what matters is you're getting your mouth around the words. You're getting familiar with saying them. You're not going to say every word perfectly correctly. You know, you can try and then you can, you know, you can listen to this and maybe try and repeat after me. But uh, the, the really, uh, the reading out loud, the purpose of it, I remember when I was learning, I used to, my son who was just a little boy then, read, uh, I used to read, you know, his bedtime stories in Spanish. Every night I would read him a bedtime story in Spanish. And I didn't, at the time, it's certainly in the beginning, I didn't have a clue what, what it was saying. Maybe if it was, you know, like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, so it was a story that I knew, but often I didn't know. But I was getting used to actually saying the words because, you know, Spanish, I think, takes a lot more a little movement of the mouth, I don't know, but it helps. Everything helps. So don't underestimate how useful just sitting and reading something aloud is to yourself is, you know. Okay, so I'm going to read this text, Querida Pili, and you can listen to the pronunciation. 
Querida Pili, tengo que decirte que fue una idea estupendo por parte de mis padres mandarme aquí a Girona a casa de mis tíos. Hicieron bien porque lo estoy pasando muy bien. Claro que no he escrito todo bien a mis padres para contárselo. No sé si lo haré, aunque como ves estoy eh, usando el ordenador de mi tío para escribir, sorry, tía, para escribir unos correos electrónicos. Me llevo muy bien con mis primos y te juro que hacemos algo interesante todos los días. Aparte de pasarlo bien, también descanso mucho. Me parece, me parece que duermo mucho me mejor aquí que en casa. Quizá tiene algo que ver con el aire y que ya no fuma. ¿No me crees? Pues es verdad. Duermo bien. Me levanto bastante tarde y normalmente desayuno y salgo al jardín con un libro y mi iPod. Allí paso un par de horas leyendo. Mis primos, José y María, se, levantaban, eh, se levantan a las ocho porque los dos tienen exámenes dentro de tres semanas. Pobrecitos. Te voy a con, eh, contar unos de la, unas de las cosas que más me han gustado. El martes pasado fuimos a una barbacoa en un pueblecito cercano. La habían organizado unas amigas de, eh, amigos de José. Rafael vino con su novia. Compramos la, la comida y todos la, todas las bebidas por la mañana y cargamos el coche de José. ¿Sabes cómo de viejo es su coche? Bueno, tuvimos un pinchazo en la carretera y estuvimos media hora reparándolo. Por fin llegamos. Preparamos las ensaladas y unas tortillas enormes y empezamos a asar la carne. Después bailamos y charlamos hasta las cuatro de la mañana. No llegamos a casa hasta la madrugada, porque José no logró arrancar el coche y mi tío tuvo que venir para recogernos. Con suerte, no se enfadó. El sábado pasado, mis tíos me llevaron a ver a un tío mío que no había visto durante casi diez años. Me contaba historias de cuando vivía en los Estados Unidos y trabajaba para un banco internacional. Viajaba por la tarde. Vi acaba, podemos go to spectators. Vi acaba por todo el mundo y hacía muchas cosas interesantes. El fin de semana que viene me llevarán mis tíos a un concierto de estopa. Tengo muchas ganas de ir. El concierto estará en Barcelona y nos quedaremos allí dos noches. Ya te contaré todo en mi próxima email. Sorry, próximo email. Bueno, te dejo porque estamos a punto de salir para el mercadillo. Muchos recuerdos a tus padres y a tu hermano. Un abrazo fuerte, Mercedes. 
Okay, so that's the text. Now, you can always use it as a listening exercise, like a dictation. You know, you can uh, pause, obviously, the video and replay it over and over again to try and, uh, if you haven't caught what I've said. But, yeah, I think listening exercises, uh, dictation is a very good listening exercise. Uh, so if you think you can follow what I'm saying and write it down, that's even better practice. Okay, so then there were some questions that um, you had to translate into Spanish and answer in Spanish. So I'm just going to, again, just read them out in Spanish. Número uno. ¿Quién mandó uh, a Pili a Girona? Sus padres. ¿Lo está pasando bien? Sí, lo está pasando muy bien, I think. Sí, lo está pasando muy bien. Tres, ¿ha escrito a sus padres todavía? No, no ha escrito a sus padres todavía. Número cuatro, ¿por qué piensa que duerme mejor allí que en casa? Uh, and I think she said, Quizá tiene algo que ver con el aire y que ya no fuma. Número cinco. ¿Qué normalmente hace después de levantarse? Normalmente sale, ah, normalmente desayuna y sale al jardín con su iPod. ¿Por qué se levantan los primos a las ocho? Porque tienen exámenes dentro de dos semanas. ¿Dónde fueron el martes pasado? ¿A dónde fueron los, el martes pasado? Fueron al campo, ¿no? Para un barbacoa. A ver. Sí, fueron a una barbacoa en un pueblecito cercano. ¿Y quién la había organizado? So it's la because it's barbacoa and it's feminine. La había organizado, ah, la habían organizado unos amigos de José. ¿Qué pasó en la carretera? Tuvieron un pinchazo. Yes. ¿Hasta qué hora bailaron y charlaron? Bailaron y charlaron hasta las cuatro de la mañana. Y número 12. ¿A dónde la llevaron su tío y, o sus tíos el sábado pasado? Uh, la llevaron a un concierto de estopa. You can use la o le. 13. ¿Dónde trabajaba su tío? Trabajaba en los Estados Unidos uh, para un banco internacional. Y número 14. ¿A dónde la llevaron el sábado que viene? La llevaron... Ah, this is, this is the concert. Sorry, I'll go back to the other one. La llevaron a un concierto de estopa en Barcelona. So, that, sorry, I answered that wrongly. The one earlier, where did they take her last Saturday? ¿A dónde la llevaron su tío, sus tíos el sábado pasado? Should have been eh, el sábado pasado sus tíos la llevaron a ver un tío suya, eh, suyo que no había visto durante casi 10 años. You know it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't make at least one mistake, normally a lot more. Vale, ok, número 15. ¿Cuánto tiempo se quedarán allí? Uh, se quedarán allí dos noches. ¿Y qué va a hacer ahora? 
ahora va al negrillo. Ok, vale, so that's it. There's so just another couple of videos left to go of the level 3 um, playlist. So I've been updating it because I updated my all my books. So there's extra exercise in there. Now you've got the old version of the book. Uh, the new version's got a lot more in it. Yeah, you'd probably be thinking, oh my God, this isn't in my book. But yeah, these are from the new book. So, okay, Ali, muchas gracias uh, por mirar. Thank you for watching, as always. Uh, if you've bought my books, if you've been for classes, if you've just given me a like on a video or a Facebook page, or you know, I appreciate all these things. Uh, they, they, apart from you know, they they're sort of good from the business side of you, but it it feels nice to know that someone's watched a video and they've enjoyed it or they found it useful. Um, you know, I, I, it just feels nice. And so I put a thumbs up on it. I think, oh, well, that, somebody enjoyed it, so it was worth doing. Okay, so thank you so much. Vale. Uh, te veo muy pronto en el próximo video. Y hasta entonces, como siempre, que tu Dios vaya contigo. Gracias y adiós.